Five years ago today, Superstorm Sandy wreaked havoc on Long Island and the greater New York area and would become the largest storm to hit the Northeast in recorded history. The storm hit New York State hard and brought with it 100 mile per hour winds, heavy rains, and severe flooding, causing unimaginable destruction, totaling more than $60 billion across the region. And Long Island was among the hardest hit areas. In some places on the South Shore, the storm surge was as much as 17 feet high, and across the island, total damage to housing was close to $3 billion. Approximately 100,000 buildings in Nassau and Suffolk counties were damaged or destroyed. Long Island's infrastructure and critical systems also took a huge hit, with more than $5 billion in damages and cleanup costs. Superstorm Sandy brought home the new realities of severe weather, causing us to look at the world differently and prepare for a future of more frequent and more serious storms. Our weather-related emergencies are much more dangerous than anything we've seen in the past. We went through Hurricane Sandy, and frankly, it was the first time we had gone through something like that, and we learned the hard way. So in Sandy's wake, lessons were learned. We got to work and built back better and stronger than ever before. On Long Island, the state has awarded more than $1 billion to nearly 10,000 homeowners for repairs, improvements, and elevations to protect against future storms. New York has also invested more than $50 million to buy out 150 properties in Suffolk County and return them to the natural habitat. In addition, hundreds of small businesses on Long Island have benefited from more than $42 million in assistance so they can replace equipment and repair facilities. And a record $730 million has gone to help rebuild the island's power systems while minimizing costs for customers. Today we have more resilient homes, businesses, infrastructure and emergency response systems. But the work continues. Governor Cuomo has made record investments to protect water quality, preserve critical wetlands and marshlands, and safeguard the environment in communities across the island. These efforts include the largest ever state investment in clean water with the $2.5 billion Clean Water Infrastructure Improvement Act and $300 million Environmental Protection Fund, a $388 million initiative to connect 10,000 Suffolk County homes to sewage treatment systems, $40 million to build local sewer systems in Smithtown and Kings Park, $10.4 million Long Island Shellfish Restoration Program to harness the power of shellfish to filter our water, $5 million Long Island Nitrogen Action Plan to reduce nitrogen in Long Island surface and groundwater, development of the 10-year Ocean Action Plan to protect New York's ocean resources. State lawsuit challenging the EPA's decision to designate disposal site for dredged materials in eastern Long Island Sound. These unprecedented investments in our environment are making for a cleaner, greener Long Island. But the Bay Park Wastewater Treatment Plant, which has been plagued with problems for decades, remains one of the most critical issues facing Long Island today. It's the largest wastewater facility in Nassau County and serves more than a half million people, over 40% of the county's population. Since it was built in 1949, the Bay Park plant has had a devastating impact on our natural resources. The Bay Park plant was a major disaster during Superstorm Sandy, when the facility flooded, sending billions of gallons of sewage into the western bays. Since then, we've invested more than $800 million in the Bay Park plant to fortify the structure, improve treatment systems, and protect it from future severe weather events. Further, the treatment of wastewater at the park facility has been inadequate since the plant was built. Not enough nitrogen was being removed from the sewage before it was discharged, but $30 million in upgrades are already underway to improve treatment systems and ensure that 50% more nitrogen is removed from the sewage before it's discharged. The Bay Park Wastewater Treatment Facility pumps more than 52 million gallons of treated sewage each day. That's 19 billion gallons per year. 
This massive influx of sewage has steadily degraded water quality throughout the Western Bays, a vast network of inlets and islands. By the late 1990s, this pollution had closed once vibrant shellfish beds. The impacted area by the Bay Park plant outflow spanned from Atlantic Beach to Point Lookout, affecting dozens of communities and hundreds of acres of waterfront and marsh areas. Environmentalists and government officials alike have been trying to solve this problem for nearly 20 years. The Western Bays Coalition was formed in 2000 to advocate for solutions to the worsening scourge. Plans to construct a brand new five-mile outfall pipe from the Bay Park plant into the Atlantic Ocean were complicated, costly, and impractical. With a roughly $500 million price tag and up to a decade to build due to tunnel construction under Long Beach, as well as complex environmental review and deep water habitat monitoring. We are not going to stop until we get the outflow pipe from Bay Park because it is ludicrous to be dumping the treated sewage right there on the coast. Today, we are announcing the Bay Park wastewater treatment problem is finally being solved, thanks to our new innovative approach and intense commitment to protect Long Island. Together, we're taking bold action to ensure clean water for Long Island with a long-term solution for the Bay Park plant it's a solution that can be done quickly, safely, and affordably. This new plan for Bay Park will divert the treated wastewater from the plant through an abandoned aqueduct under Sunrise Highway to an existing outfall pipe. To do this, we will construct a two-mile, 72-inch connecting pipe system north from the Bay Park plant to the county-owned aqueduct that runs under Sunrise Highway rehabilitate an eight-mile stretch of the aqueduct by removing existing gate valves and slip lining the 72-inch abandoned main with a fiberglass pipe, and build another two-mile, 72-inch connecting pipe system from the aqueduct south to the existing Cedar Creek outfall. Treated sewage will travel 6.5 miles through the existing Cedar Creek outfall pipe to be diffused nearly three miles into the Atlantic Ocean, instead of dumped into a warm, shallow bay. This will eliminate up to 90% of the nitrogen pollution in Reynolds Channel and the Western Bays, which will rapidly restore the ecosystem and protect coastal communities vulnerable to the effects of severe weather. This project will have a total cost of $354 million. New York State and Nassau County will contribute over $277 million, and $77 million will come from federal resources. It is an investment that will pay dividends for decades and decades, protecting lives, energizing Long Island's economy, and improving the quality of life for Long Island residents and visitors. There is a silver lining to Superstorm Sandy. Five years after the storm, Long Island is better, stronger, and cleaner than it was before.